Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Hope you are all keeping well out there. Some more updates for you. This morning, well at long last, there is some news, and some more information on that. The photo of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry in the rain has a magical backstory. When Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex announced they were resigning as senior working members of the British royal family, it came as a shock to everyone, including the royals. The duo always looked happy and poised. Despite the tabloids and think pieces picking them apart, they never wavered. However, in October 2019, in the shocking ITV documentary, Harry and Meghan, An African Journey, it became very clear just how much the pair were struggling amid the spotlight and in an institution stepped in exclusion. Still, the Sussexes have refused to allow trolls and naysayers to deter them from a peaceful life away from the firm. In fact, they absolutely dazzled during their press round for their final royal engagements. Inside Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's new life. After living on Vancouver Island in Canada for several months, the Sussexes have officially moved to Los Angeles to set up a more permanent home. Just before the borders between Canada and the U.S. shuttered, the pair packed themselves and their son, Archie Harrison, on a private plane bound for the Duchess hometown. Harry and Meghan have left Canada now for good, an alleged source told the Sun. The borders were closing and flights were stopping. They had to get out. But this move was planned for some time. They realized Canada would not work out for various reasons, and they want to be based in the Los Angeles area. They have a big support network there. It's where their new team of Hollywood agents and PRs and business managers are based. Currently, they are in self quarantine in a compound near Hollywood. The Duchess is also anticipating the release of her first post, Royal Project, Disney Nature's Elephant, which will air on Disney Plus, April 3rd. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's new life won't be perfect. Though they will no longer be royal, the Sussexes will still be living in a fishbowl existence. However, they will now have the chance to speak directly to their trolls. Of course, they are besotted with each other, royal expert Camilla Tomini told ITD News. But that's not to say the love they had for each other and their child and their dream life in North America that they're not going to face challenges. And that it's not going to be difficult particularly for Prince Harry to leave everything that he's known. This is an institution he was born into. He knows nothing else. Prince Harry has a different perspective. Certainly being in a different position now gives us the ability to say things and do things that we might not have been able to do, he explained in a leaked phone call. I think it's much better. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's reign photo has a magical backstory. It's clear that the Sussexes trust one another completely, and they are doing what's best for them. Hopefully, we will get more magical moments from the pair. In early March in London, as they beamed at each other under a shared umbrella, a timeless photograph was taken. It was pouring down with rain, which can be very tricky when shooting flash photography, Samir Hussein, a longtime Getty photographer, who often covers the royal family, told Vogue. It also meant Harry and Meghan would be under an umbrella, which usually means it's hard to get clean photos of the couple. Little did I know these elements would come together so spectacularly to produce a timeless image. I knew that if that light could be lined up to be right behind as they walked, then it could create a dramatic photo acting like a backlight in a studio shot. I managed to maneuver myself to line up the flash behind them, and then had to work quickly, with just a second or two to get the shot as they smiled wonderfully at each other. It's a one in a million, when all the elements you could wish for, as a photographer come together. Perfect timing, great lighting, 
strong symbolism, and amazing subjects. Honestly, it's a photo that will go down in history. Another analysis. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have officially left Canada. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been staying on Vancouver Island while they iron out the final details of their exit from the royal family. With their departure becoming official at the end of March, a royal expert claims that the couple's life in Canada was never going to work. Why did the Duke and Duchess of Sussex choose Los Angeles? There are plenty of reasons why Prince Harry and Meghan decided to set up a base in Los Angeles. For starters, Meghan grew up in the city and her mother, Doria Radland, lives in the area. Los Angeles also offers a better opportunity for the Sussexes to grow their brand. The two are looking to become financially independent from the crown and will need a substantial source of income to fund their various ventures. In a way, it's exchanging one goldfish bowl for another, but it's a city where Meghan has deep personal and professional connections, Arthur Edwards, a photographer for the Royals, shared. In Los Angeles, they'll be close to Meghan's mom, Doria, her only family member at her wedding to Harry, who will love having Archie so close. According to Express, Meghan's team of PR agents are based in Los Angeles, as are many of her celebrity friends. This includes the likes of Oprah Winfrey and Ellen DeGeneres. Depending on how Prince Harry and Meghan plan on making money, these connections will undoubtedly prove useful. While we finally know where Harry and Meghan will be spending most of their time, sources say that their royal counterparts are not happy about it. How do the royals react to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's big move? Buckingham Palace has not released a statement regarding Harry and Meghan's decision to relocate to Los Angeles. But according to inside sources, the royals are less than thrilled with the move. Following Charles' health scare, many experts believed that Harry might return to the UK in a show of unity for the monarchy. After all, the royals are already shorthanded as it is and could use the extra support. Meghan and Harry hire a new staff member. While Prince Harry and Meghan are in lockdown, Page Six is reporting that they have hired a new staffer to lead their charitable endeavors. A leaked email reveals that the former head of Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, Catherine Street, Laurent, will be leading their next nonprofit organization. Beginning next week, I will be acting as Chief of Staff and Executive Director of the new non-profit enterprise for Meghan and Harry, St. Lawrence shared. They are embarking on a new chapter themselves, and I am thrilled to be able to play a supporting role in realizing their vision and enabling them to achieve impact on the issues that matter most to them. St. Lawrence worked with Pivotal Ventures for close to nine years. She is from Montreal, which is where she may have originally met Harry and Meghan. Although Harry and Meghan's endeavor will act like a charity, it is not going to be set up as a foundation. A source claims that the two want to find their own way of giving back and new ways to make change. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have not commented on the latest reports surrounding their exit from the royal family. Their departure is scheduled to become official on March 31st, though that could change. So there you have it, that's all the news on Meghan and Prince Harry's situation today. As always, thanks for listening. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and press that notification bell. If you want to be notified of future videos. Thank you. Don't stop.